March 16, Monday of the third week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue at Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the sky was closed for three and a half years and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of this that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord only Naaman the Syrian. God comes to us daily in the very ordinary events of life. We do not have to wait for spectacular, miraculous events to find God's presence. As St. Ignatius of Loyola teaches, we should find God in all things. God is present in creation's beauty, in a child's smile, in the dedication of parents and teachers in a simple act of asking for forgiveness.